Hi everybody, today's video is going to be a book review on the book Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And I just finished this last night. I actually stayed up kind of late to finish it. Um, this is also a book about kind of like this origin story for the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And I know I already reviewed one a little earlier. Um, called The Queen of Hearts, and I will say this, this one is so much better than that book, but before that, I kind of want to give you a look at the cover right here. So this is what it looks like with this little, like, lip cover type of thing on, and then when you take it off, because I have the hardcover version, it's got a really pretty, like, checkerboard look, so there's a crown on one side and then a jester's hat on the other which is really cool and then here's the side of it it's really pretty I really love having this hardcover I'm so sad that the paperback is just this part like it's just this cover now and it's white for some odd reason but anyways that's what the book looks like. Let's actually talk about the story. So the name of the Queen of Hearts in this story is called, her name is Catherine. And she, sorry, has a dream of opening up her own bakery, which is really different um, than in the other story. That story, she's already a, a princess. She's royalty. In this story, she's the daughter of a lord type of person and she doesn't want to be queen her parents want her to marry the king but she is not going to be happy married to the king she's not in love with him she wants to marry for love but at the end of the day her biggest dream is to open up a bakery because she's a very talented baker people love her baking so I really like this edition right here yes there will be a love story down the line but I like that for Catherine her biggest goal in life wasn't to get married to somebody it was to open up a bakery and she actually reminds me a little bit of Tiana in that with that goal in Princess and the Frog in Princess and the Frog Tiana also wasn't looking for love she wanted to open up a restaurant I really like that parallel I don't know if that's what she was going for um, because I know Princess and the Frog had been out for a while, so she's probably seen it. If she's a fan of Disney, she, which I think she is, um, based on her acknowledgement that, about her mom being a big fan of Alice in Wonderland and having, like, a big Alice in Wonderland collection, and that's what inspired this book, in part. Um, what I like about this book as well, besides that little part right there is that it often reminds me a little bit of Wicked, you know, um, by Gregory Maguire. I haven't read the book Wicked, I've seen the musical Wicked. So it reminds me of that story, which again, she does say that she was inspired by his books to write this book. Because she's like, well, why hasn't anyone ever written a book about you know the queen of hearts and why she became the queen of hearts and so her agent was like do you write it and so she did and i really like how it's not similar in a way but i feel like she definitely you can see that it was inspired by wicked for sure but i don't see any similarities at least to the musical i know the musical is different than the book um but you can tell she's definitely inspired by this author and how he sets up the backstories or origin stories for these very famous characters of literature. Um, I did mention a love story. So in this story, there is a person, a man named Jest. He's the court jester for the King of Hearts. And sorry, I'm trying to get that glare out of the from my light. Maybe my just light in front of it. Um, and he's from the Kingdom of Chess. So there's the Kingdom of Hearts and the Kingdom of Chess in this book. 
she's divided Wonderland into like two parts and you can get through this land through a looking glass which I really like it makes it works with what I've read in Lewis Carroll's novels because there's actually two novels there's Alice's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and there's also Through the Looking Glass so they're they're two different stories about Alice and I believe they're both technically in Wonderland they're just in like different parts of Wonderland I haven't read Alice in Wonderland in a while so I, this book made me at the end want to go back but I really like that she took that idea um and used it in her book and it works really well and it makes sense with Lewis Carroll's Wonderland um but Jess is from Chess and he's come to steal the Queen of Hearts heart now obviously there isn't a Queen of Hearts right because she's not the Queen yet she's just the daughter of a Lord she hasn't married the King so he's